In order to fulfill modern and advanced motion control applications, DMM has developed the multi-turn absolute encoder. The multi-turn encoder allows the servo drive to keep track of the absolute encoder position even when power is turned off to the servo system. The position is never lost and the operation can begin as soon as power is turned on without the need for homing. For OEM feedback applications, the encoder can be interfaced directly by RS-45 using DMM's proprietary encoder protocol. This multi-turn functionality is essential for advanced applications such as robotics, machine tooling, semiconductor, and medical devices. Based on the current ABS-16 Absolute Magnetic Encoder technology, the multi-turn encoder performs at 16 bits single turn resolution and 16 bits multi-turn resolution for a combined 32 bits total position resolution. The multi-turn encoder package is available in the same 50mm and 33mm diameter sizes, as well as in the low profile package. The multi-turn functionality is available in two operation formats. The first is the traditional battery format that uses an external battery to maintain power to the encoder. The second is a battery list format that uses a proprietary supercapacitor circuit to maintain encoder power. With the battery multi-turn encoder, a 3.6 volt battery provides power to the encoder when the drive is powered off. Using the battery power, the encoder can keep continuous track of the motor position. When the servo drive is powered on, the current motor position can be read and operation can begin immediately. Typically, the battery is mounted on the encoder cable. With the multi-turn encoder option, DMM offers a dedicated encoder cable with battery case attached. The battery list multi-turn encoder is suitable for mechanisms that already incorporate a brake or lock on the rotating motion when the system is powered off. The proprietary supercapacitor circuit delays the encoder shutoff time to allow the rotating motion to stop. Then, the multi-turn encoder position is stored in the encoder EEPROM memory. When powered on, the servo drive reads the position in the encoder EEPROM and begins normal operation. This allows for accurate and reliable multi-turn position tracking without the use of the battery. The absolute zero position can be easily calibrated using a dedicated multi-turn encoder module in the DMM DRV program. When the module is opened, the absolute encoder position is displayed on the top right. The user has three different options to jog the motor into desired absolute zero position. The first is a position command to send absolute or relative move commands to the motor. The second is a positive or negative feed jog to jog the motor into position. The third is a manual jog. The user can disable the motor, then manually move the motor into position. Once the motor is moved to desired position, the encoder and drive can be calibrated to the current position as absolute zero. To simplify the usage of the multi-turn encoder functionality, the DMM servo drives can be operated in incremental or absolute position modes. In incremental mode, the servo drive starts operation at current position when powered on. In absolute mode, the servo drive automatically returns the motor to absolute zero position when powered on. This allows the system to utilize the multi-turn functionality without a complex controller. The DYN servo drives can also be programmed to include an absolute home input. When the input is triggered, the servo drive automatically homes the motor to absolute zero. This allows accurate on-the-fly homing or can be used for safety applications. We will demonstrate an operation example. First, the drive is set into absolute mode. Then the absolute zero is set at position 3. Then jog to position 4. When the power is cycled, the drive automatically returns to position 3. These comprehensive tools and operation methods can be used to easily and effectively utilize the multi-turn encoder system. Please visit our website for more information including specifications and ordering guides for the multi-turn encoder.